Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing fine. Today morning exactly at 8 a.m. I received a good news. What exactly is the good news? Wait, let me show it to you. So what exactly was the surprise? Well, I received a mail from Google Cloud stating that I have cleared the professional data engineer exam. It was a tough exam. It wasn't an easy exam by any means. I had to prepare really hard for it, but finally when I got to see the certificate, I was very 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 happy. So this is something that I wanted to share with you guys. I wanted to share with you why the certificate is important. If you're planning to upgrade yourself in terms of learning new technologies, then this is a certificate that you should definitely consider. Now, if you have chosen a certification, there are multiple things that go behind the scene in terms of clearing that certification. You have to prepare really hard for that certification. You have to appear for an exam and then basically clear the exam as well. Now, you might have an obvious question. Is this certificate even worthwhile? Global Knowledge recently released a 15 top paying IT certification list for 2021. And guess what? Where does this certification stand? Well, it's at the first position. If you've certified yourself with the Google Certified Professional Data Engineer exam, then you can expect a salary of around 170K in US. So keeping the salary aspect aside as well. So if you ask me personally, as a data scientist, I wanted to add more tools in my arsenal. It is here that I picked up this training. After completing this training, I have a very good understanding of how I can deploy models on GCP and what are the different solutions that I should pick up from Google. So overall, it's been a very overwhelming experience for me. Now the next obvious question that you would have in your mind is, how long does the preparation take? Well, everyone has their own speed. Everyone would know cloud technologies in some of the other aspect. They might be complete beginners as well. You also might have people who are coming from the DevOps background. Ideally, it all depends on how familiar you are with GCP technologies. If you look at the screen correctly, I registered for the exam on 29th of May and I gave the exam on 29th of August. So it was a good three month window that I bought for myself in order to crack the exam. I went at a very decent pace wherein I also balanced my full time job my YouTube videos along with this. This is the only reason why you would see less videos appearing on my channel recently. So I kept preparing for this exam after office hours. I remember a lot of nights where I slept at around 2 or 3 a.m. in order to prepare for this exam. So it was a very enriching experience for me wherein I put in a lot of effort in order to crack the exam. So if you happen to pick up an exam, maybe this exam or maybe some other exam, don't rush to give that exam. Understand every aspect of the exam and then give the exam. So this is essentially the principle that I follow. My idea of a certification has always been to acquire the skills rather than just showing the certificate. So that is why I took good amount of time. And now I'm really happy looking at the results as well. Now in the remaining part of the video, I'll disclose how I prepared for the exam and Hopefully this should be beneficial to most of you watching this video. The very first course that I picked up was Google Cloud Certified Professional Data Engineer. So this course was initially on Linux Academy and now you can find this entire course on a cloud guru. So I'll add the link in the description section of the video. Feel free to check it out. The entire course is a very comprehensive course. It is a good mixture of theory as well as practical hands-on sessions. So you essentially get to see the different cloud technologies rather than just mugging up theory for a particular say technology like cloud spanner or cloud SQL. All of that is covered really comprehensively in this course. So you have chapters like getting started, which is essentially your starting point. Then you have fundamental concepts. Then the author walks you through cloud SQL data store, Bigtable, cloud spanner, pubsub and so on and so forth. So 
I can wholeheartedly recommend this course because this was the starting point of my journey in the professional data engineer exam. The next course that I spent a lot of time on was preparing for Google Cloud certification, Cloud Engineer Professional Certificate. So, so this is like a bigger course which contains multiple sub courses. The first course inside the specialization was Google Cloud Data and Machine Learning Fundamentals. The second course was Modernizing Data Lakes and Data Warehouses with GCP. The third course was Building Batch Data Pipelines on GCP. The fourth course was about Building Resilient Streaming Analytics Systems on GCP. The fifth course was all about Smart Analytics, Machine Learning and AI on GCP. And finally, you have the final course, which is preparing for the Google Cloud Professional Data Engineer exam. This course is a really handy tool for you to revise just before the exam. So this is something that I wanted to mention. It's a very special course. It kind of covers the fine details of small technicalities that you should remember before you appear for the exam. So far, the courses that I had taken had a mixture of both theory as well as a practical aspect. I wanted to dive deep into the practical aspect of GCP. It is here that I kind of used Quick Labs. So Quick Labs is essentially a website wherein you can kind of start a cluster, play around with different GCP resources and everything is very organized. So you will have a set of so you will have a set of tasks to complete and you will be given resources like real life resources where you can play around with different GCP resources like Cloud SQL, Cloud Spanner, BigQuery and so on and so forth. So one training in Quick Labs that I can wholeheartedly recommend is Engineer Data in Google Cloud. This is specially tailor made for the Google Data Engineer exam. So you can essentially pick this up. So you have different tasks. One of them that I can see right away is creating a data transformation pipeline. Building an IoT analytics pipeline on Google Cloud, ETL processing. Before you even jump on to complete this particular training, I would highly advise you to go through the fundamentals, perform foundational data ML and AI task in Google Cloud, getting started, scientific data processing quest and so on and so forth. So this basically supplements all your theoretical knowledge with actual hands-on labs. So you are well equipped in understanding different technologies and in what situation should you use an X product over Y product. So the next piece that I picked up was the official Google Cloud Certified Professional Data Engineer Study Guide. This is an excellent theoretical book created by Dan. I think he's done a fabulous job in laying down all the foundations that you require in order to crack the exam. So he's covered different theoretical aspects of different technologies, which I couldn't find in a lot of places. So a really comprehensive guide in order to understand the different technologies that are there. How does BigQuery work? So I would highly encourage all of you to go through this book as well. The next piece in order to prepare for the exam is you have to go through multiple exam questions. It is here that I discovered an amazing channel called as Awesome GCP. This channel has been created by my fellow GDE Satish. He's done an excellent job in terms of explaining the different concepts that are required for you to crack the exam. Not only the exam, but how should you tackle questions which have so many moving parts. So, so there is a theme attached to every question in the Google Data Engineer exam. All the concepts would be crystal clear if you happen to go through the entire playlist. So I'll add the link to the playlist as well in the description section of the video. Feel free to check that out as well. Now the next resource that I can wholeheartedly recommend is a YouTube channel with the name The Cloud Girl. It has some really cool visualizations and Priyanka who is part of the Google Cloud team in Google, uh, she creates some amazing content with respect to explaining concepts for different technologies. So what exactly is Cloud Spanner? How should you go forward and choose a database on Google Cloud? All of these questions are really well answered by The Cloud Girl. I'll also add the link to her channel in the description section of this video. There is one underrated resource that not a lot of people have mentioned that is 
an amazing channel called as Google Cloud Tech. So this essentially is run by Google. Uh, there is one specific playlist that I really admired that is Cloud Minute. So if you want to revise a concept on say Cloud Spanner, all you have to do is you have to go through this one minute or two minute video at max and all your concepts are crystal clear. So, so it's a good revision point if you have to revise something. This is one playlist that I can highly recommend. Now if there is one technology in Google Cloud that you cannot skip in the exam is Google BigQuery. After understanding all the theoretical aspects as well, if you need some more supplementary information about BigQuery, then there is an amazing playlist called as BigQuery Spotlight. This essentially contains the basic questions of how you have to load data in BigQuery, how you can optimize your queries as well, how can you increase the query performance. All the questions would be answered in this amazing playlist. So yet again, I'll add this particular playlist in the description section of the video. Feel free to check it out. So that's it. This is all that I had in today's video. I hope you have a clear idea in terms of how you should go about certifications and how this certificate can help you propel in your career forward. So if you happen to like this video, please share it across with your friends and colleagues and also make it a point to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching the video.